Hello everybody! It's time for Facebook Friday once again. Here we are. This week flew right by and we are ready to do Facebook Friday. I hope you guys had a great week. Let me pull you up over here. Make sure I'm in the right place. Make sure you guys can find me. All right. There we are. Hello. Good to see you guys. So... I hope you guys are enjoying some nice weather. It's nice here, except it is getting very hot today. It's supposed to be 97 degrees. That is ridiculous and unacceptable. I'm sorry, but that is too hot for San Antonio. I know in the summer, sure, but in April, we've had some weather extremes this year for sure. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Cheryl. Good to see you guys. So today, we are going to make three projects with the Dino Days stamp set. I know many of you probably have this stamp set. Um, I don't know, has it been out two years, I think, in the annual catalog? I actually did a class to go with this right after it came out. It was, I think, probably my first class that I did with that catalog. I loved it so much. Um, and I'm sad to see it go. So if you haven't snatched this one up, you need to do it. Um, when I was typing up the product list um, last night, I realized that the dies are actually marked down pretty significantly, $14. So the stamp set is 21 and the dies are 14. That's really cheap. So hey, Stephanie. So you guys, um, if you haven't gotten it yet, now's a great time. All right, so we will get back to our dinosaurs in just a few minutes, but I have some things to tell you first. Look what I have, finally. My catalog has arrived. Funny story about my catalog. Um, this catalog was mailed to everybody who's attending a virtual event called On Stage. And all my friends were getting their catalog and mine didn't come, mine didn't come. And I, uh, it was, um, I guess it was Friday when my kids were home and I sent, my oldest was going somewhere and I said, hey, please stop and check the mail on your way home or on your way out. Our mailbox is way down at the end of the street. We don't have mailboxes in front of our house. And she came back later and I said, did you check the mail? And she said, oh, I forgot. And so later on, I, I asked her where the key was. I went and got it out of her car. I drove down to the mailbox, checked the mail, nothing. There was no mail. So it didn't come Saturday. I was really mad. Didn't come, didn't come. Then um, Sunday night, she comes trotting in the house and she says, oh, I found some mail in my car. And I said, let me guess, there's a brown envelope in there. Oh yeah, uh huh? And I said, you told me you didn't check the mail. And she said, oh, I forgot, I did. And not only was my catalog in there, but my youngest daughter's Easter dress that I had ordered was in there that never came that she didn't get to wear on Easter. Teenagers, I tell ya. <sighs> Anyways, funny story, but here it is. I I put my spiral binding on it. I have my own little binding machine that I do. Um, this, if you, ordered with me in the last year. I sent out an email last month asking if you wanted one. I ordered them. If you clicked on that link and told me you wanted one, I ordered them for you. They will come straight from Stampin' Up. I will have boxes of them here. So if you didn't sign up and you do want one, please send me an email and I will be happy to send you one, okay? Um, it won't have a spiral binding on it. I'm not binding any more catalogs because it gave me tennis elbow. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. So, but you can get your catalog bound at any office store. Um, they will do it. Um, and I've been told the local like print shops um, are really super cheap with that. So, yay, it's here and it's beautiful. And you might have seen last week I was able to make samples real fast of our in colors. These are the new in colors. Um, Polish pink, definitely my favorite of the five pale papaya which is a little bit like grapefruit grove if you guys remember that color probably lighter than that but it's a good it's a real light orange kind of reminds me of like um you know like a dreamsicle that color um let's see if i can remember fresh freesia it's a purple really good um somebody asked me how it compared to the one that's leaving um Hello, I forgot its name. You know, the one that's retiring. This is more, uh, it is a light purple. 
and it coordinates. Um, I'm trying to think. It is uh, a deeper shade of purple than that one. That was really pale. Um, this one has peekaboo peach. Karen, you're right. Peekaboo peach. It, that's very similar to this color, but it's um, more purpley than the purple that's retiring. I can't think of that name. Purple Posy. It's way more purple than that. I like it a lot better, actually. Um, and what did I, I put it up with other cardstock now, and I can't even remember which one I thought it went really well with. Who knows? I've slept since then. I can't remember. Um, soft Succulent, which is a nice soft green. And then um, Evening Evergreen, which is a dark green. And I really kind of like the way they all look together. It looks to me, and maybe because one of them is called Succulent, I don't know, it looks like like a desert, like desert colors to me. You know, like, I don't know, desert plants. But anyway, my In Color Club will be coming out. I'll be announcing those details next week. Um, in Color Club is where you join for five months. And it's, it'll, uh, like PayPal will charge you every month for five months. And each month you're going to get a kit that has all the products of one color. And then the next month, you'll get a kit that has all the products of the, of the next color. So by the end of the five months, you'll have all the products from all the end colors. Plus every month you get a free embellishment from me and a handmade card. So be, look, be on the lookout for that. Um, I'll put it on my blog next week and I'll send it out in an email next week. So make sure you have subscribed to my email list. I'll put that here in the description of the video um, when I'm done today, okay? So that is coming. Many of you have been asking about that already and I have it all figured out. I just need to type it all up. Okay, where do I want to start? You know what? I think I'm going to turn you guys around because I think I, I feel like I can show you guys things better when the camera's fake. Hold on, hold on. So I added in a second class to go for this month because next month, I realized, next month I'm going to Maui with Stampin' Up! And I'll be gone for 10 days. And I'm doing an online convention with my team, In Color Club Starts, and I have Club Create, which means I'll have no space for a class to go next month. Okay, so I put an extra one in this month, which I'll tell you about in a second. Here is the first class to go. We talked about this last week. This is the Flowering Cactus class to go. It is a uh, fundraiser for Alzheimer's. Lisa, by the way, thank you. I got your um, envelope in the mail this week. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I just thought of that and I needed to email you, but I saw you pop up on here. So I wanted you to know it arrived. Um, Anyhow, the proceeds from this class, woo, my iPad is not wanting to sit still. The proceeds from this class are going to go to the Alzheimer's Association. Um, my dad suffers from Alzheimer's, and I've heard from so many of you. This horrible disease has touched so many of you, um, and uh, we got to find a cure. So this is my way of helping. I do a fundraiser for this about once a year, and this is this is it for this year. So what you do, you'll have to go to my blog and f read all the details, but basically you put in your order and you order either the Flowering Cactus um, product medley or the Flowering Cactus refill, and I send you the class kit for free. Now there's some, some specifics, so make sure you go to my blog. There's a host code you have to use. There's a certain amount that your order has to be, so if you already own the cactus, Flowering Cactus product medley, you can order anything you want as long as it meets one of those thresholds. Um, the the Here it is right here. The top one is 70. And if you do that, I send you this for free. And then this, the second option is $43. And I will send you the, the class kit for free. Um, so, well, the, you'll get the class kit for free with both levels. That top level, the $70, you'll get the bolt of trim for free as well. Um, so hop over to my blog. The link will be here when I'm done today. I will add it and you can hop over there and um, read the details and purchase this kit if you want. This cannot be combined with Facebook Friday or anything else. This is a standalone, has its own host code. Um, there are specific reasons for that. 
Um, it's how I order supplies and stuff. So you just can't, you can't combine any of them. They have to be, they have to be separate. Um, anyway, part of that is this cute little mini album. I think this is my favorite thing in the, the whole kit. There it is. Okay, so there's that. What's the deadline on this? April 19th. April 19th. Okay, so then my second class to go, and I haven't even made a video about this. I need to do that. This is the Dragonfly Garden um, class to go, and it's eight really, really bright, beautiful cards. And I decided that I had so many of these left over from celebration that I would use this in this class. And I have, I think I have about 22 of these. Um, and the first 22 people to register or who need the stamp set can click on it if they're still available. I haven't checked. Um, they may have already sold out, but um, you can still get the class. If you already have the stamp set, obviously you don't need it. You don't need to add it on. But there are two, there are, well, there's four options for this class. And this class does have a registration link where you go and register instead of putting in an online order. You can get it with the Dragonfly Garden bundle, or you can get it without the Dragonfly Garden bundle. Either way, you're going to get a pack of paper, two um, bolts, or not two bolts, uh, two different ribbons, some uh, yard, yardage <laughs> of ribbon, and a pack of these super cute little ladybugs right here. All right. And you'll get uh, the eight make and takes, the eight envelopes, a PDF. And um, let me think, what else do I need to tell you about this class? You guys, I have a horrible headache today. So if I am not making sense, I apologize. I took ibuprofen like two hours ago and it didn't didn't help I don't know what that says what that means and I don't normally get headaches but anyway I'm a little off today so there's this I will update this video with a link to that as well the deadline for this is not until the 20 what is that the 26 and it'll these kits will ship May 3rd um the dragonfly garden bundle is carrying over it's in the new catalog um, so it'll be around for a while, but I love these. This paper has some beautiful uh, patterns. It has the dandelion stuff on one side, but then the other side has these gorgeous little stripes and uh, the blue and yellow and the calypso. They just look beautiful together. So if you're interested in this card class, um, <laughs> if you're interested in this card class, make sure you click on the link and go read the details and let me know if you want the registration link. You guys are saying maybe you're dehydrated. Yeah, it's probably what it is. I am terrible at drinking water, although I have, I have had a lot of water today, but maybe not yesterday. So that may be part of it. I hate water, you guys. <laughs> I know. Blech. Okay. Here's a sneak peek. You guys want a sneak peek? Um, this is Club Create. For May, we're going to use brand new products from the new annual catalog. And Club Create is going to feature the Pansy Patch Bundle. Mine's a mess. Um, this is a gorgeous stamp set and die bundle. The paper is awesome too. Um, it features all the new ink colors, which is, which is fun. So Club Create is a subscription. It's $39 a month. It includes five projects, a video, a PDF, and about $20 in new product. Um, you can add on the bundle to it if you want. Um, and then if you stay for six months, then on your sixth month, I give you $25 in product credit to spend. So um, the window for this has opened up. I haven't changed the page yet, so it still says uh, um, sand and sea, but that deadline has already passed. So if you sign up for Club Create today, today on, um, you will be signing up for May's Club Create, which is Pansy Patch. Okay, you guys, the Pansy stuff's going to be really popular. I think I had a lot of fun playing with it. Okay, Do -do -do. Oh, one other thing I need to tell you. So the All Star Tutorial Bundle this month features the flowering cactus also. I didn't mean to do both of them in the same month. I didn't wasn't paying attention to our schedule. But anyhow, the All-Star Tutorial Bundle is free with a $50 order. Um, when you spend $50 online, it is one of the things that you'll get from me. I send them out about once a week via email. Um, they're all video links. 
the PDF has all the measurements and the product list and everything that you need and then an embedded link for each one so you can go watch the video. And all of them are designed by different demonstrators around the world. And this month's all feature the flowering cactus. And here is my project for this month. So make sure you check that out. That is at the bottom of today's blog post as well. You can find information about that. And I'm gonna set this out so I remember to send it out this afternoon. Okay, let's see. Well, I can't set that there. I got too many things up here. Boy, I am thirsty now. I think you guys <laughs> put it in my head that I'm dehydrated. I should have gotten some, some lemonade. I like lemonade. I made some of that yesterday. I should have gotten that. I'm an enabler, Christine. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I know, I know. And you didn't get it. You didn't get the pansies. The pansies actually are my favorite thing in the pre-order. Um, they're very, very pretty. All right, prizes, prizes. Last week's winners um, are Robin Nichols and Tina Emery. Thank you for sharing my video last week. You two were the random winners. Um, Robin, I have your mailing address. And Tina, I don't know if I have yours. I don't think I do. Um, so Tina, if you see this, please email or message me your um, address so I can get it out. Thanks, Terry. I appreciate it. It's Flirty Flamingo, the color. Thank you. Okay, so this week I'm giving away, how about some more beach stamps? Timeless Tropical. I've got two bundles. If you would like to win this, all you have to do is share the video on Facebook. You can comment shared um, so that I know that you shared and then you'll be entered to win. Alrighty. Let's see. I do have a drink over here, but it's not water. I'm sure you guys can guess what it is. My one vice in life is Diet Coke. I know. Don't I know. It's horrible for me. I'm going to die from it. I know. Don't tell me. Okay. <laughs> Don't. Don't, don't take my one thing away from me. Um, anyhow, this week's Facebook Friday is all about the Dino Days. If you have not joined me for Dino Days before, Dino Days, if you have not joined me for Facebook Friday before, I always pick one bundle or stamp set and we make three projects with it. So that's what we're doing this week. Over at pinkbuckaroo.com, you can find the PDF. It has the measurements. And the um, product list, I put everything that was retiring in red. And I realized today that the ribbon that we're using over here is already sold out. That's the problem with the retired list. Once things go on the retired list, they are while supplies last through May 3rd. So you could use something and then the next day it's sold out. So, um, but we have a, lots of purple ribbon that we could use. But anyhow, this is free to you. You can go over there and find it. Everything that I just talked to you about is here links and information. Um, if you would like today's make and takes as a kit next week for free, all you have to do is put in an online order by Monday at midnight. Um, make sure you use this host code and your order has to be over $35 to get the make and takes for free. And this is what they look like. I cut them on Tuesday mornings. Um, so don't be late with your order. Um, I make a little tag for you. You do have to have the stamps and dies for the the dino days. Everything else I will cut for you. Um, and I don't do any stamping. You gotta have the stamps, ink, adhesive, and dies. Oh, and embossing, you know what? We're gonna emboss today too. Embossing folders, I don't I don't do embossing folders, but you guys can sub any embossing folder you have. That's easy to do. Okay, the PDF's not on my site, Peggy. Let me see. I I linked it just a little while ago. Has it has it gone up? Maybe oh maybe I haven't pushed publish. That's why. Let's see, let's see. Try it again. I just pushed publish on it and it should be there. Thank you for telling me. I got distracted. Yeah, it's up. Is it the right one? Yeah. I won't tell you I was watching Days of Our Lives right before this. S distracted. <laughs> I was listening to Days of Our Lives while I worked. All right, let's get started. Let me pull over our first tray. You know, this stamp set is just so cute. I really could have gone in so many different directions with this. Um, but I started with whimsical 
kid, you know, kid-like projects. So that, that's where we're going to start. Come on, stay there. Um, I am using, we're going to make a volcano too. We're going to make, oh, you know what? Oh, do I, did I get rid of that? My class to go that I did with this set two years ago had a 3D volcano in it. And it was a treat box in the shape of a, of a volcano. And it was so cute. And it sat here on my counter for a very long time. But I must have thrown it away because I don't see it. Um, I was going to show it to you guys. That PDF is still available in my PDF store if you need even more ideas um, than what we do today. Okay. So let's start with our little night sky right here. We're going to make a, a night sky. This is a stitched... Um, rectangle basic black and I'm gonna take some of the frost white shimmer paint and just splatter it on there and this is retiring this is gonna be gone and I love it I'm really sad um, what I do with this I have an old aqua painter you can use a paintbrush as well but I have one set aside just for this because it gets kind of gunky and I just put it in the lid like that and then just kind of splatter it on there to make those stars, all right? And then I need to get a paper towel. Then you just wanna wash it off and it'll be fine. But I mean, like I said, I set this aside only for shimmer. All right, so there's that. We're gonna set that aside to dry. Carla, funny you should say that because she was eating twine again today. My dog is obsessed with twine, I I uh, had I I had this lady come today. We're getting our life insurance stuff taken care of. You know, they come to your house and do all the, you know, your blood pressure and all that. But anyway, she was coming, and I glanced over and I see Pepper over on the floor. I had tried to pick everything up so the house wouldn't be a mess, and she's shredding twine again. That dog, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where she finds it. I swear she opens the drawer, takes it out, closes the drawer, and then runs off with it because I, I don't know. It's bizarre. It is so bizarre. <laughs> okay, let's stamp this guy. He, I think he's a, he looks like Barney to me, but I think he's a T-Rex maybe, right? Oh, you know what, Trisha? You, she says, I may have... I may or may not have bought five jars of shimmer paint. Yeah, I bought some too. I did. All right, that's Mango Melody. And then I'm going to add something that I didn't add in the original. These little spots kind of gives him a little dinosaur texture. All right, so then he has purple spikes. No, no, he has pumpkin pie spikes. On the last project, he has purple spikes. So this is the stamp for the spikes. And you want to stamp it over away because there's two separate dies there to do that. Okay. Now, when we bring over our cut and emboss, we're going to cut those out. Let's see. Do you guys see my light flickering? It's like popping <laughs> and making strange noises. Is that the kind of day we're going to have today? Am I going to lose dies? See how this goes here and then this goes here. So we've got that. So for the volcano, I use the largest triangle right here, stitch triangle. And then I use this one right here um, for the red. So I did early espresso and real red. Um, for the fire coming out of the volcano, you know, you can look at your dies and find things that will work. But what I found is this little sprig here from the... Uh, mini cur mini keep many curvy keepsake box dies and this is retiring oh I can't believe it I love this thing oh so anyhow that's where that came from we're going to use two different embossing folders I'm using the hammered metal embossing folder for the background and we're going to use old world paper for the volcano okay so let's start, let's do our embossing first. You gotta take off all your plates. And I'm gonna stick this one in here. Next week, you guys, we're gonna do Ride the Range. Um, you know, the cowboy set. I know the dies are on back order, 
but I can't wait any longer. We've got to use it. I love it so much. Look at that. Doesn't that look like dinosaur skin to you? I think so. So that's what we're going to do next week. Um, I, I love the, the, the Western set. Hopefully it will come back in stock soon. <laughs> I don't know. It's been very popular. All right. Old world paper for the early espresso triangle. Put those over there. And then we got to put our plates back on. Bring our dinos over. And line them up. Like that. So for the tail, you want to do get the little spikes to line up with the left side. There's going to be like this white section over here, and you're going to think, wait a minute, that, that doesn't look right. But that's where you put your adhesive. Um, no, the, yeah, the um, triangle dies are not retiring. The stamp set that goes with them is, but not the dies. I was very happy to see that. I do like my triangle dies. All right. So now we're going to take some Tombow. And we'll put our Tombow on our, oh, no, yucky. We're gonna put some Tombow right here on this little white section that we're gonna lay Barney on top of him, on top of it. See how that is? That's so cute. So you can do two different colors easily for your dinosaur. All right, so now take your scissors and with this um, triangle, I'm just gonna kind of do like a wavy line, like the lava is dripping down the volcano as one would, right? <laughs> I got an alert on my phone that there was some volcano in the Caribbean today that um, went off. I, I didn't know there were volcanoes in the Caribbean. That was weird, right? All right, now turn them over and we're gonna put the little fire coming out the top. Right there, so there's our volcano. <laughs> Funny, right? I love that. You gotta have a volcano when you have a dinosaur. Now our sentiment, we're gonna stamp on our, the smallest stitch circle, basic white. Let's have a moment of silence for our stitch shapes that are retiring. We're all very sad. As of last night, they were still in stock if you haven't gotten them. Not quite sure how I'm going to survive without them. Okay, we're ready to put our card together. This is a basic white, thick card base, just a half sheet that I've cut. I mean, uh, yeah, that I've cut in half at four and a fourth. I'm looking for my adhesive. Hold on. And then, so cut on the short side at four and a fourth, and then score it at five and a half, or just fold it in half. All right, and this piece of pumpkin pie card stock is four by five and a fourth. Remember, all the measurements will be on that PDF over on my blog. All right, so center that. Now, also retiring are the DSP stacks. We have new DSP stacks coming, but these prints are retiring. So this is pumpkin pie. I'm gonna put across there like that, and then a strip of real red like that, and then we'll flip it over, cut those off. I'm glad to see that we're getting new ones and not just getting rid of them because I use these all the time, these paper stacks. they have We have paper stacks for every color family, so you will always have a piece of pattern paper in the color that you need. They come in six by six. Oop, that's, I'm using too much. Let me shorten it. So this is the Playful Pets ribbon trim combo pack, and it's carrying over. This fun twine will be in the new annual catalog. Yay. I use it a lot. Just ordered some more this morning. All right, so we've got that. That's cute, right on the diagonal. I like that. 
Now let's go back to our Starry Night. I think we are dry. I'm gonna take two pieces of our, oh, what are we calling, What? <laughs> what's the name of this? Organdy ribbon, I believe. Organdy, glitter organdy ribbon. And I'm gonna just make a loop. I'm gonna fold it in half. And I'm gonna tape them down. That's a really big piece of tape that I don't need that big. Okay, so a loop on the back like that. And then I'm gonna do another loop because why not? Let's have two loops. I'm not seeing comments again. Why can't FB, I don't wanna say their name because then they'll delete my video. But why can they not fix these glitches? All I'm seeing is so-and-so is watching, so-and-so is watching, 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 watching. The same person over and over and over again. There's been some weird changes with FB. They, um, I can't edit the video like I used to be able to. And I can't add people to groups like I used to be able to. I'm not sure what's going on. And that glitch that I'm seeing on my end has been going on for many, many, many weeks. I'm not sure why that is still there. Okay, so we're gonna put this little starry night at an angle and then we'll take our volcano dimensionals dimensionals um, and there are there is a clean recording of this um, project over on YouTube it should be live right now so if you come back to watch this you can um, watch it over there if you if you are looking for the fast you know get it done and stop chit chatting about all your things <laughs> you can hop over there and watch it um i did those yesterday and i will i will tell you the first and second one went great the third one i had to completely re-record it it was just a nightmare i kept making mistake 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 so it would probably be fun to watch i'm not sure <laughs> how good it is okay last but not least we need a few more stars, right? A few little rhinestone stars. I'm using my take your pick tool with a putty end and it will pick these up and lay them down. It should, if it's not user error with a giant blob, I should take that off and get a smaller blob. Oh, uh, one more. Mm, no, I think I want to stay with four that time. All right, and there you go. Your Rarsum, how cute. If you have a grandchild, you could send that to them in the mail. You could give that to a friend, a coworker, a teacher. I mean, it's just cute and whimsical and fun. I like it. All right, card number one is done. Let me move the things, all the things out of the way. And we're gonna make a spinner card next. I'm really excited about the spinner card because this was a special request. Um, from Susan she actually and I actually saved her email I went back last night to find it it was back in February and she asked about making a spinner card and she sent me something she had seen online and I thought oh I've made a spinner card before and I couldn't find it I realized I had made it for blend stamp and blends club years and years ago so it wasn't even on my blog so I have had that little feather in my hat waiting for an opportunity to make a spinner card and then when I um started messing around with this set. I thought, ooh, the pterodactyl will be perfect for a spinner card. So thank you, Susan, for the idea. Sometimes you guys give me ideas and I may not get to it right away, but I, but I always have a little, you know, a little idea percolating. All right, so here is our spinner card and we're gonna do reverse stamping again. See how that, whoops, see how that spins around? That's really fun for a kid too, I think, if you sp send them a um, interactive card. It says, thanks for being a friend of Saurus. Aw, so cute. Okay, so let's see, how do I wanna start? We're gonna, let's do our stamping first. We're doing reverse stamping like we did last week. And we are going, you need your Stamparatus for this. And you need, where is my purple? Here it is. You need your Stamparatus and a silicone mat. And the silicone mat is, you're gonna stamp on that silicone mat to get that reverse image. This doesn't work with every stamp, um, but it does work with a lot of your stamps. I'm gonna stamp regular first. 
The reason why we're gonna do reverse stamping is because we need two pterodactyls that are mirror images so we can glue them together. If we cut two of them, if we stamp and cut two of them the same way, they, they won't line up back to back, okay? So we gotta do reverse stamping. So do one regular, gorgeous grape, Okay, then on your silicone mat, you're gonna stamp directly onto your silicone mat. Like that, make sure it gets all that ink there. And then lay down your white piece right there. Hopefully I didn't overlap them. And don't take it away, stamp again on the back because that will show you where to cut it out. Where's my dies? Here they are. Let me show you. So when we cut it out, we'll cut it out the back side. And when you flip it over, you'll be able to see him. Okay, because on this side, look, see how they're looking at each other? Ooh, I did get them very close. We wouldn't be able to cut it out with like that, but we can cut it out on the back. All right. Okay, let's see what else do we need to do. I want to do all the cutting at the same time. What else do I need to cut? Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, you know what, I meant to do some of this ahead of time. Oh well, I didn't. Um, we're gonna stamp the, the little palm tree in the background. Thanks, Teresa, I appreciate that. I'm gonna do cinnamon cider ink on cinnamon cider cardstock. I love cinnamon cider. It's really grown on me this year. It's one of It was one of our new ink colors this year and I really, really like it palm frond right here. And we're gonna do this in granny apple green on granny apple cardstock. I meant to do these ahead of time because you need four of them. Okay. Oh, my magnet, better put that away. All right, let's close up the grape so we don't get it all over the place. And let's do some cutting. We're gonna use, um, the designer series paper stacks again. This is Mango Melody this time. Um, look at Mango compared to Pumpkin Pie. You see the difference? Mango, I always think of as a yellow, but I think it's really more of an orange. It's a yellowy orange. I love Mango Melody. Um, it's a bright, fun, funky color. Um, but I just thought I would show you what it looks like compared to Pumpkin Pie. Now, we need to cut out we're going to put this on the card front and we're going to cut out a circle. We're going to cut out a window, but I'm not going to adhere it first because I'm going to use the other side of the DSP circle on the inside of the card. So if I glued them together, then I wouldn't get, you know, wouldn't be able to get it. Yeah, I probably could put just adhesive around, but I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to lay that down. I've got my DSP centered on my card front, put my circle in the center, and we're going to cut them both out at the same time. I always have to think this through when I'm making a window on a card. I don't know why it kind of, my brain is like, wait, what, what are we doing? All right, so there, now save this for something else later. This we're gonna turn around and use as the sun on the inside. All right, now let's do, let's see how many things can Erica cut at one time without messing it up. I really wish that they would get that magnetic platform fixed. No news on that front. In the meantime, you can always use post-it notes to hold down your dies. Yeah, Michelle, the mango blends are retiring. I was confused by that too. What I've always been told, what Stampin' Up! has always said is that if something retires, it's because it, it doesn't sell well. So I guess mango didn't sell well. I thought the mango blends were really good for um, if you were using crushed curry cardstock and you needed a marker. I thought mango coordinated really well with that, but I don't know. Get those mango blends unless they've already sold out. Yeah, I know, Christine, it's not even listed in the new catalog. I know. That means that they haven't fixed the magnetic plate problem, that they're still working on it. But that doesn't mean that it, it couldn't be released mid-year, you know, like an out-of-publication release. 
All right, so there is our regular facing pterodactyl. We're gonna use this one, but to cut it out, we're gonna flip it and cut it out on the back side. All right. Uh-oh, stay there, pterodactyl. And is Brandy here? She was laughing about me writing the word pterodactyl today on a post. She said, you just wanted to write, wanted us to know you knew how to spell pterodactyl. And let me tell you, I've typed it about four times in the last 24 hours, and every single time, I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> Last night I had to ask my husband. Today I was trying to get spell check to, it couldn't even figure out what I was trying to spell. So believe me, I don't know how to spell it. Okay, so look, here's our pterodactyl. Isn't that awesome? It cut it out. We cut it out this way. And now on the back, it's perfect. It's perfect. All right. Let's cut out these palm fronds and then we will put our card together. There's one. 97 degrees here today, you guys. What is happening? It is April. Where are my San Antonio girls? Are y'all on here? It is April the 9th. It should only be like 76, 78, maybe 80. 97 makes me very nervous for what the summer is going to be like. <laughs> and then you guys know we had that crazy winter storm. Oh, crazy. Okay. Now, get your card base. You know, the other reason I didn't adhere this down before is because it's going to hide our string. I'm going to cut a piece. You can use any kind of string you want. I'm just using our white twine. You could use fishing line, you know, because it's clear. Whatever, whatever you want. And I'm also going to just use some tape and I'm gonna tape this but I don't want it to show so let me cut that down you know what you know what I have that's better than this ouch okay take your pick tool thanks for stabbing me goodness gracious um this is skinny let's use this I like tear and tape better it's gonna be stronger so so tape that there what I was saying with that tape is I didn't want it to go you know, when I stick this down, we got to make sure that it wasn't too high. Um, and then we're going to tape this right here like that. Trim it. Now I'm going to get my dinosaur friends and let's see. I think I'm going to do him kind of angled like that. All right, so he's right there. And then we'll get some combo. And we're gonna squish them together. Oh my gosh. Don't worry, it's all right. <laughs> nothing, nothing is, nothing is in place yet. Okay, so squish them down. Give them a minute to dry. Let's see, do I have a small block? Let's use this one. I'm gonna set that right there, okay? Now, let's cover up that glue I just dropped on the card front with this designer series paper. It's so weird to say designer series paper because I'm, I, you know, we always just say DSP, but if you're new, you may not know what DSP stands for. DSP stands for designer series paper, which is pattern paper. That's what, that's what I always called it before I was a Stampin' Up! person. Pattern paper. Okay. Oh, you know what else I forgot to cut? Yep, I forgot to cut something. That's all right. We'll do it. I forgot to cut out the little purple pattern. Um, let's find our sun. Remember, this is the circle that was in the middle that we cut out, and we're going to use the other side as the sun right there. And I want to make sure that I center it. So I'm just going to kind of hold it in place and lay it down like that. All right. Now our little palm tree, coconut tree. Let 
we're going to do that right here with these palm fronds you got to make sure that they're not sticking out the card edge over here because then your card will not fit in your envelope okay there we go i'm, I'm expecting a ups any moment now I'm expecting a big Club Create delivery today. And Charlie is gonna go bonkers because that's what he does. I did not put him up. All right, so arrange your palms. I don't know, I'm not liking that arrangement. Um, do we want it to go like that? Oh no, I don't like that either. How did I have it in my other card? Hmm, maybe I'm just being too picky. All right, well, that's gonna do. I'm not sure that I like that, but we're going with it. All right, so then when you close it, you can see the little palm tree over on the side. Okay, now we gotta make that, that little pattern on the bottom. I forgot to make it. I have two strips of cardstock, Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape. Both of them are an inch by four and a fourth. And we have these really cute dies that just make patterns. So you could use whichever one you want. We've got that one and that one, but I'm gonna use the triangles. And I'm just gonna run this through three times. Oh, Ellen, yeah, Ellen, you know what? Palm trees here are all frozen and they all, they all died. I was at, um, we have a little nice shopping area here called the Rem. It's where TJ Maxx is. And I was there last week and they were literally chainsawing down all the giant palm trees because they just all had died in the winter storm. Makes me sick. I saw on uh, this morning on the Today Show, they were talking about the turtles too. They the winter storm here in Texas caused lots of problems with the sea turtles. Far reaching effects that winter storm. Next month, Club Create Nancy is Pansy Patch. I showed it at the beginning, so come back and watch the replay. You'll be able to see it. The Pansy Patch, it's from the new catalog and it's gonna have the new in colors and it's so pretty. So that will be for May. Um, okay, put that there. Let me get all the little doodads. So see, we just kind of made a little funky pattern and we're gonna take it and, hey, Amory. Yeah, TJ Maxx, that's the best TJ Maxx because it's TJ Maxx and home goods together. Amory and I have a TJ Maxx close to our house, closer than that one, and it is not nearly as good. Since the pandemic, They have their store has been Super empty, and I don't know why they can't get it together. <laughs> I'm like, you guys, what happened here? I need some more TJ Maxx stuff. TJ Maxx is the best. Do you guys have TJ Maxx where you live? I love it. It's like whenever I just need like some retail therapy, you know, just to like wander the store, that's where I go. It used to be Target, but I don't love our Target anymore. Well, that's a little short. I cut it a little short, but that's okay. We'll pretend like it fits. All right, last but not least, we're gonna stamp our sentiment, which is right here. And we're gonna do that in gorgeous grape on this tasteful label. Yes, Ellen, check the demonstrator website. They have put current updates out about that. All right, thanks for being a friend of Saurus in Gorgeous Grape. And then I'm gonna get some of these um, sequins and just put a couple right there because I didn't like that blank space. So it was a perfect opportunity for some sequins. Now, if I can find a dimensional, we will be done. So this is a spinner card. I hope you guys will give it a try. Look at your stamps and see what would be, you know, what would be fun as a spinner. Um, the one I did years ago, it was a little baby and it, you know, spun, it was a baby. <laughs> it was really cute. Oh, I wish I still had it. 
to show you guys. Um, but you could do this with all kinds of things. I mean, the pterodactyl obviously works because he's a flying bird, but or a flying dinosaur, really, I guess. But um, look at your stamps and see what you can do with, uh, you know, the spinner. Do you guys like that? Have you guys made that before, a spinner card? All right. Let's see. We've got one more project. I know you guys are here for the jello shots, right? Did you guys see my post yesterday? Told you we'd be using jello shot cups today. Uh-huh. Carla says she likes a boozy gift. Well, sadly, these jello shot cups do not have jello shots in them. Am I frozen? You guys? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Am I frozen? No, no. Okay, good. I am. I'm still there. All right. Now, get ready to have your mind blown. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that great. <laughs> I mean, it's great, but it's not mind blowing. Okay, so I have to say this next project is not my original design. Becky Roberts is someone I follow on Instagram and she made this. It was different stamps or whatever, but she made this and I was like, what are those little tiny cups? And she said they're jello shot cups. Now, I have never had a jello shot in my life, so I'm not sure about that. I don't know why I haven't had one, but I haven't. But that's what these cups are for. However, today we are making them as little dinosaur treat cups. So let me show you. Oh, yes, I have them linked on Amazon. They're, they're not just any Jello shot cup. They're easy squeeze. Because <laughs> if you surge Jello shot cups, they're like, um, you know, like if you get condiments in a takeout thing they're like that size so these are really interesting they uh they're a funny shape but they are awesome um i really like this for several reasons uh one is because it's small so it's not going to take a lot of candy to oh i'm seeing the jello shop fans now <laughs> you guys are funny um i like them because they're small they don't hold a lot the second reason is I always find these gummy things that I want to make projects out of, but I don't ever know, like, where do you, what do you, what do you put those in besides just like a little cello bag? So I thought, hey, okay, okay, this would be fun. So we've got some gummy dinosaurs <laughs> and um, I'll give these to my kids. Don't worry. I would wash my hands and put gloves on if I was making them for class treats. Don't you worry. But I think that this would be really cute for like an end of the year treat for a class, right? The lid snaps on and there you have it. Isn't that just so cute? Okay, so gummy dinosaurs on one side. Uh-oh, one fell out. I'll have to eat it later. Um, and then, now these were out for Easter, but I found them on Amazon too. I linked them for you. Pudding shots, Carol. Oh, now that sounds delicious. I do like some pudding. <laughs> oh, what would you put in the pudding shot? A Kahlua or something? I, or just, I don't know. That's funny. I'm trying to think. Oh, what is that? Rum shot, rum chata? Pudding shots. Terry wants a recipe. <laughs> okay, so these are for Easter, right? 12 bubble gum eggs, but we're gonna pretend that they're dinosaur eggs, right? Kids would go crazy for this. All right, so get that lid on there. Hopefully I got that on there. It's real, you know, like, I don't know if flimsy is the right word, but bendable, and I guess the reason is because you squeeze it to eat it, but uh, you can get those lids on there. Aren't they cute? They, I wish they were called something else, not Jello shot. <laughs> Okay, let's make the container. It's very similar to a um, coffee cup carrier that we made, but it's different. This is Becky's design, and I was uh, intrigued by it. So I had to give it a try. Now, let me get all my pieces over here. Okay, you're going to need 12 by 12 paper for this because this piece is 3 and 3 fourths by 12. Heidi says Pinterest has lots of recipes. All right, we're all going to head to Pinterest after this to find out what's in a pudding shot. Uh-oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, <laughs> y'all are making me laugh. Three and three-fourths by 12. We are gonna score it at, now remember the, me the measurement line, the measurement specifics are right here on the bottom of the second page. 
over on my blog. Three and three fourths by 12. On the long side, we're gonna score at one, two and three fourths, three and three fourths, six, eight and a fourth, nine and a fourth, and 11. Turn it to the short side and score it at one, and two and three fourths. Mac, I hear you, buddy. What are you what are you huffing about? My old man dog is in there. He's like woofing at me. What, Mac? I blocked them off so they couldn't come in here. I think maybe that's what he will stand. Mac is 11, 12. He's old. He will stand at my door and just watch me. Just stand there and watch me. And it's really weird. I think. He's waiting for me to eat some candy or food or something. I think I literally think that's what he lives for. He stands there and just watches. <laughs> like, is she is she getting candy out? Is it time? Is it snack time? He is very mo food motivated. All right, bone folder. Burnish all your lines. All right, <laughs> Anne's gonna have, Anne-Marie's gonna have a pudding and jello shot party this weekend. Hey, and you know what? You can put them all in individual jello shot cups and then nobody has to worry about germs, right? <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, scissors, let me find my scissors. Now, this has some weird cutting instructions, okay? We've got these two squares on either side, right? We're gonna cut, we're not gonna cut every score line. On each end, you're gonna cut the, the score line up and then cut over an, an angle on the square tab, okay? So cut up and over on the square tab. Don't cut that one, but then cut this one, just cut it. And then don't cut that one, but then repeat the same thing we did over there on this side. I'll lay it down so you can see it when I'm done. I mean, it's not it's not overly complicated. I just I usually am like you know all the all the lines, but this time no. Cut that at an angle. Cut up at an angle. Then the one in the middle we just snip. Then back over here, cut, snip. And cut, whoops, cut. <laughs> that's a crooked line, and I haven't had any jello or pudding today. All right, there we go. So that's what it looks like. All right, so these four lines you just leave. Now get your Tombow, and you're going to want to get a couple of little clothes pins too. And we're going to put adhesive on either side of these rectangles. And then let's start on this end. We're gonna fold these up. Matt, go outside, buddy. Go outside. There's no food in here for you. You know what? He probably can smell. He heard us talking about Jello and gummy dinosaurs. I guarantee you he can smell it. Little stinker. All right, now fold these sides up like that. So this is what you've made, like the letter L, right? It's not too complicated. Clip that in, clip that in. That'll hold it together while it's drying. Now do the same thing over here. Okay, fold in, fold in, fold in. You know, I thought about trying to redesign this with an 11 inch, uh, three and three fourths by 11 inches, but I was like, you know, no, I'm not gonna do that. We're just gonna stick with 12 by 12 because I know not everybody has 12 by 12. One thing you can use if you don't have 12 by 12 is the backing. How did you get past there, Mac? There's no candy. No, you stay out of the trash. Ooh, he's so naughty. The backing that comes in your designer series paper, that white card, if you, you could use that. And just make sure the writing is on the inside. Go, Mac, there's no candy for you. Oh, bad boy. Okay, now clip, clip, okay? So now we're gonna fold, uh-oh, wait a minute, that's not straight. Don't clip it if it's not straight. There we go, like that. Now, you just fold it in half, like that. 
All right, now this part, it's kind of tricky to get it. You kind of need to hold it while it dries. All right, so fold it in half. And look, it looks like I didn't do that one straight either. We'll clip that and see how that works. That's crooked, I don't like that. Can I fix it, is it too, yep, it's too late. All right, we'll look at this side, this side is straight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you're going to let it dry, all right? You know what else I pulled out yesterday? Do I still have a real, like, skinny rubber band? You can put that around down here to squeeze it and hold it together. Let's see. It does kind of, you got to be careful. You don't want it to bend your cardstock. Okay, there. Now, we're going to set that aside and let it dry. Matt, go on. You can't have gummy dinosaurs, buddy. You cannot. All right, let's clean the stamps. We're going to use Barney again. This time he is going to be purple. Hey, Lisa, are you feeling okay? Didn't you have a procedure or something? What, Mac? Shush. I have had several naps this week, too. Um... I just have not been feeling good. I did get my second vaccination on Saturday and I'm thinking maybe that's it. I just have been really tired all week. Um, are you going to show the new calendar set for the new catalog? Heidi, I don't know. I saw that. I, You know, I did not order that in my pre-order. Maybe next year when we get closer to the end of the year, I will probably do another calendar class. So maybe, we'll see. All right, now this time we're gonna do the, the spikes in Mango Melody. And we're also going to do the sentiment stamp in Mango Melody, and I'm just gonna do that over here. Trisha has a funny story. I was cleaning out my stuff drawer and saw the clothespins and was like, what did I order these for? <laughs> oh, you are welcome, Trisha. I'm so glad I could help you out figuring that out. She said she ordered the clothespins, she found them in a drawer, and she was like, why did I, why did I order these? Why did I buy these? She couldn't remember. And now she remembers. Glad I could help you out. Okay. Trash. Get all the trash out. Bring over the cut and emboss machine. What time is it? I'm scared to look. Oh, it's not too late this week. I was thinking it was like 3.15 already. All right. We're almost done. All right. Let's get our dino die right there. Um, one thing I want to tell you guys too is that use whatever colors you have, you want, like what scraps do you need to use up? Because these dinosaurs really could be any colors. And you'll see I have, we're going to put a star on here and one of them is a orange star. One of them is a yellow star. I was just using what paper I have left. So, you know, mix and match. It doesn't, they don't all have to be exactly the same. They don't all have to be the same as mine. I'm also gonna use paper from the hydrangea paper because I liked it. And it's, I know it's not a hydrangea, but you know, look, it's a gingham. So yes, yes, please. We like gingham. All right. Now let's put Barney together. Okay, come on. Have you guys noticed I've been using Tombow a lot? I've finally gotten on board with Tombow. I'm glad I could enable you guys. <laughs> Carla. <laughs> Carla, you're an enabler too. With all your cute stuff you find. All right, so we've got all these pieces. You're going to need two. Oh, what did I put on the paper? Two, seven and eight. Seven eighths inch by three and three eighths, and then seven eighths inch by one and three eighths of the any paper you want. This is the hydrangea paper. Okay, now let's bring it back over and see. Here we have it. Oh man, I don't like that. Okay, we're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. I wish I had seen that before it dried. You're gonna cut these off at an angle, so you're gonna go from that corner to that corner on each side, okay? And it's kind of 
Okay, come on, Erica, get it together. It's kind of hard to get your hand in there. Nope, like this. Like that. And then this one is going to go like that. Okay, and then the last one like that. So then it's a little triangle. Oh, keep showing that side. So now we'll take our little pieces of DSP. Yep, Cadbury eggs could be, oh, that's too long. Cadbury eggs could totally be dino eggs. We got some Cadbury leg, eh, Cadbury legs, Cadbury eggs left over. That would work. And we'll put this all around all four sides. We're gonna pretend like that side is straight. When you put that paper on it, I think that'll kind of hide it. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, this goes to the, this one goes to, I don't know, a kid who doesn't care. I had a friend who said she would get her messed up cards. Who was that? I don't remember who that was. She would give her messed up cards to her grandma because her grandma didn't have very good eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> and she couldn't tell that she had messed up. And I'm sure Grandma loved all the cards. Grandmas, they would never point out a mistake anyway. Okay, there. Now, um, let's put our cups in. And we're going to punch a hole on the top. Hey, Kathy. And I am using ribbon. That is no longer available. I went to order some this morning and it was gone. The tricolor ribbon. Oh, I really thought Stampin' Up! was gonna bring us more tricolored ribbon, like tricolor pink, tricolor green. Wouldn't that be fun? I love this ribbon. But you can use any ribbon. I have other purples that we can that I'll put in my make and take packs. I wish I had ordered it before it had gone out. That in the Seaside Spray cardstock. I went to order that. Gone. I gotta get it before it's gone. They tell us that every year. Okay, let's put these guys on here. Oh, what did I do with the sentiment? I haven't cut it out yet. One of a kind, Debbie. Exactly. Not a mistake, just one of a kind. All right, let's bring back Barney. Put him over here. There he is. And then this sentiment that we stamped, I, this is so funny. I love you this much. It's more than it looks because, you know, they have tiny little arms. There's so many T-Rex jokes out there about their tiny little arms. I thought that was cute. Um, yeah, I wish, Lisa, I wish they would let me design some ribbon and some paper. I know I would... I've already pitched my stamp set idea and I believe me, I wanted to say, and look, this paper would be great with this and you could have this, but no, they didn't ask. I don't know. <laughs> They're probably like, yeah, okay, we got it. All right, there we have it. Two little dinosaur treat, treat, jello shot, non jello shot. Although I don't know how fun your workplace is. You could make these jello shots, pudding shots. If it's adults, I don't know. <laughs> okay, you can find the Jello Shot cups, the gummy dinosaurs, and the bubblegum eggs linked um, on my blog today underneath the photo of this. Um, they'll take it directly to Amazon where I got, got them. Um, let's see, also that PDF is there. That PDF is free for you. It's got the measurements and the product lists. Um, if you would like for me to send these to you next week for free, all you have to do is put in your order by Monday at midnight, $35 minimum. If you bump it to $50, you'll get the All-Star Tutorial Bundle for free as well. Um, let's see, what else do I need to tell you? Next week, we are doing Ride the Range. Um, that bundle, you know, you know what I'm worried about with that bundle? I'm going to be honest with you guys. Right now it's on back order, and I can see the numbers of what's coming and how many have been ordered. And it, 
there's not that many more coming than what have already been ordered. So I'm a little bit worried that that's going to go um, unorderable or something. So, but I'm going to, I'm going to go with it. We're going to do Ride the Range next week, no matter what. Um, but if you want your Ride the Range dies and you haven't ordered them, you might want to do that sooner rather than later. I don't know if they're getting more after this shipment. I mean, although there's three months left in the catalog, maybe they are. I don't know. Anyhow, don't forget, Dino Days is retiring. The dies are $14. $14 right now. And stamp set is 21 It's a great deal. All right, you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. I will see you next Friday, 2 o'clock. Um, with three brand new projects and be looking for um, In Color Club sign up sometime next week. All right, you guys have a great one. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.